How SOLIDWORKS can help you in school. Are you a biomedical engineer or studying to become one? Are you trying to model veins to use in creating a new medical device or in another application? This video shows the basics of creating a branched vein using SOLIDWORKS. To start, open a new part in SOLIDWORKS. The path of the vein is the first thing that needs to be created. If it is going to be flat, it can be sketched on a normal plane, but if not, a 3D sketch is needed. To start a 3D sketch, go under the drop down under sketch and select 3D sketch. Veins tend not to be straight lines, so a spline or arc would be the best way to get the path. To aid in the creation of a 3D spline, it is best to create a box in 3D space. This gives you references to place the spline points. Using the spline tool, a spline can be created using the reference box. The spline handles can then be moved to get the desired curve. The branch of the vein can also be created using the same technique. Once the spline is created, points need to be added that will be used for the cross sections of the vein. Add dimensions to the curve and the points, and then exit the sketch by clicking the drop down under sketch and selecting 3D sketch. Planes can be inserted into the model by clicking reference geometry under the feature command manager and selecting plane. Use one of the created points as well as the spline itself to create a plane that is perpendicular to the spline at that point. Repeat this for all the points. Make sure that a plane is created at the intersection of the two splines and is perpendicular to the branch spline. The cross section of the vein can be created on one of the end planes. The shape can be created either freehand using splines and arcs or by using a reference picture. This picture can be brought into the sketch by going under Tools, Sketch Tools and selecting Sketch Picture. This picture can be scaled to size and traced. If the cross section has different shapes throughout the vein, then each profile needs to be sketched on the different planes. However, if it is the same shape but just scaled and rotated, a block of the sketch can be created. This is done by having the profile sketch open, going under Tools, Blocks, and Make. Select all the entities that make up the profile. If there is a specific point that is going to be placed in the center of the path, click the arrow next to the insertion point and move that point to the desired location. Once the block is created, the check mark can be selected and the sketch closed. Start a sketch on a different plane, go under Tools, Blocks, and Insert. In the Property Manager, the block can be scaled and rotated and finally put into its location by moving your mouse over to the desired location. Repeat this for all the planes. Once that is complete, the profiles can be connected using surface locks. Right click the command manager and select surfaces. Choose lofted surface. Select the profiles for the main branch using the selection manager by right clicking in the graphics window. Under centerline parameters, select the 3D spline path of the main vein. Exit out of the selection manager and move the connector dots to line up similar points on each sketch. When satisfied with the loft, click the check mark. The branch can be created using the same procedure. Sometimes it helps to create guide curves that can be selected when creating a loft. To do this, create a new 3D sketch using either splines or arcs and connect similar points on the profiles. Create the loft just as before. However, this time select the guide curves that were just created as well as the centerline parameter using the selection manager in the open loop tool. Because the guide curves were also used, there are no connectors that can be moved to adjust the profile. Notice that the two surfaces intersect each other. To fix this, select Trim Surface, choose Mutual under the Trim Type, and select both surfaces. With Keep Selection selected, choose the two visible surfaces. This will remove the surface that is in the middle of the main vein. A fillet can be added at that junction to give it a more natural look. Once satisfied, the thickened feature can be used to make the vein into a solid body. Select the surface and choose the direction as well as the thickness. The result of this is a realistic vein that can be used to create new medical devices and procedures.